the, the Siege um, SX 2.7 mm machine. The, the column, as I've described before, is a cast iron column, open section that bolts down with four bolts onto the cast iron base plate. And I made up a bracket that fits on the back of there and closes off that bottom section and, and couples it into the base plate. What I've now done, someone else uh, said they used to use sand bags in milling machines to dampen it when it was uh, when they had a, an issue with vibration. Now what I thought is, let's try and put sandbags and I know that sand works really well for damping vibration. So if we put sandbags in the back bottom of this section of the column and I've made up, well, I've actually got my lovely wife to make up, four sandbags. Total weight is around about um, 1.2 kilograms for the four. Let's put that there in the sand. And I've dried the sand out, so it's effectively kiln dried sand. So I can put these sand bags in. I've put a piece of plastic just to protect the bottom end of the um, of the lead screw there. So this goes on here. There you are. And then that's all nicely covered. And then I'm going to just bolt the plate up onto there. So here's the plate plate with the quarter inch steel plate. Um, it's got the felt on the back here. The green felt is to stop it vibrating, the case vibrating against the back. If I just put a couple of bolts in to just locate it, that would be good. Let's just start those up because that will just hold it in place. Whilst I get the other bolts in. One bolt goes in there. Yeah. <laughs> right, so they're in. Got two bolts in. I'm just going to push that together, do them up lightly, and then I'm just with a. I'm going to just tamp those sandbags down a bit from the top while I've got access to make sure that they're. They're filling up all the voids. That, that, they'll migrate down a bit anyway over time with vibration. But if I do a bit now and just just vibrate, just uh, tamp them down, that will just help them on their way. Actually, I'll just let that just, just loosen it off a bit. Give it a little bit of movement. That's good. Then, okay, handle of a hammer. And just tamp those down. Remember, I put the, the plastic piece around the lead screw so that I don't get the bags, don't damage the bags, and don't damage the lead screw over time. Now, I'll put all of the bolts in, it's every other bolt on this. All of the bolts are now tightened up, and in the top, you can see the piece of plastic tube. That just protects the lead screw and the sandbags tamped down. So they're all nicely in place. I now need to just fit the case and then we can uh, turn the whole machine around. Let's put the case back on. So the case lifts over the armoured cable for the Z axis. Drops down. That's it. There. Just check nothing caught. I don't have a... So the milling machine is all now back up and running. What I've also got is some sandbags. Well, actually, these are cast iron bags. So it's cast iron dust from machinery. Um, and I've got a couple spare. I didn't put in the back. But I'm going to use those for damping items that are on the table. So if I've got machining something that is a little bit difficult, it's vibrating a lot, um, I can add these either side of either either side of the vice or actually directly on the part. So it is possible it's not a good example but I can actually add them to a part. Um, I just damp it down with them 
and I'll see how that goes. That's a fairly traditional technique in miller machine use is to is to add sandbags as damping. So we'll see how they go. These cast iron ones are actually a bit heavier. And they stay in place nicely. They're good for just general use around the workshop as well because they hold things down really nicely. So we'll see how we go with them over time. Brilliant. Remember, subscribe below. So hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up to me as well. So give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and watch more of what's going on. Thank you.